Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's Dr. J. We're back with some more NBA 2K17, my team. And today, I'm actually going to be unlocking um, a brand new card. And it's uh, an Amethyst card. And it's for completing uh, 1,000 cards collected. And the card that I'm going to be getting right now is... I'll show you guys just one sec. Uh, load. There you go. It's uh, Michael Ray Richardson from the New York Knicks. And it's for completing or uh, collecting 1,000 cards. So this would mean that I'm now a first team player, I guess. Um, and so as you can see right now at the bottom, um, I have 998 cards. And so what I've been doing actually is completing, um, I'm trying to complete the historic collection for the Pacers. So right now I was just buying some of the players for the team. All I need to do is buy this Paul George. Um, so that'll be 999. Then once I get this dead lift shrimp, then it'll give me uh, 1,000. So then I'll be able to buy the, uh, uh, be able to get the Michael Ray Richardson. So what I'm gonna do now is type in Paul Crooks' name. Uh, not pale. <laughs> it's Paul. Um, I'm gonna do current, and I'm assuming he's pretty cheap. So I'll put him at like a thousand. See what he goes for. Whichever's the cheapest, I'll just buy it. And it's weird. I think I had him before, but I don't know why. I don't have them anymore um so a lot are going for uh 950 so i'm gonna see if there's any for 900 and then i'll kind of limit it down from there so 850 uh 850 i guess i'll do that it's fine that's pretty cheap for an emerald by the way so uh and I was originally at uh, 80,000 cards, but now I'm at 75,000. But I, at least I'm like buying some of the cards, or like, uh, or the cards collected is going up for like a cheap price. Because like, if I wanted to buy like, I kind of my whole philosophy thing is, is that like, um, you can buy one player for like so much, like for like all your MT, or you can buy tons of players with your MT, so your collector's level goes up, you know. That's kind of my way of looking at it. So at the bottom, as you guys can see, we have 999. So what I'm going to do is go over to the Pacers. It says you can complete the Pacers collection and redeem collection complete Pacers that left shrimp now. And um, uh, I'm not going to read the rest, but you guys can read it. It's, would you like to proceed? Yes. So now I have the Pacers done. And I'm going to complete the Pacers collection because all the players are really cheap on it, honestly. So... And besides, I already have some, I just bought some of the um, gold players that were really cheap. So I just need to complete some of the other players and then I'll be good from there. So, but uh, right now I'm going to go to uh, rewards queue, which is under packs. And I'm going to open up this debt left shrimp code. And uh, no, no need for like a, a beat drop kind of thing for Sapphire. <laughs> but... Uh, there we go. We got that left shrimp. It sucks for the duo card to complete a dynamic duo with Roy Hibber And that's the card I'm gonna have to buy and even the rubies are pretty cheap too. Like they go for like 20,000 which is really nice. So let's go ahead and Get that and it should pop up something with the microwave Richardson I would assume Right? Yes, you achieved Collector level first team now available in the rewards queue menu uh, this this is playing out pretty nice actually. <laughs> uh, we get a new amethyst. That's really nice. Ward for reaching collector level first team. Now this card I'm probably not gonna use a lot, but it'd be nice for like um, for using him for like challenges and stuff. We got that amethyst glow. Let's not waste any more time. Three, two, one. Come on, Michael Ray Richardson. Get out of there. <laughs> nice, we got our first, like, really good card from a uh, collector's level. Michael Ray Richardson. I don't know a lot about him, but uh, because he's the Amethyst, he's got to be a good card. So I like to check his stats and see if he's actually pretty good. So yeah, let's, uh, let's go and check him out. Man, Michael Ray Richardson, that's going to be... Uh, I mean, it's a point guard, and he's the name of this, so it adds to my collection of point cards, you know? I mean, I have a lot of good point cards. So now we have 1,001 cards collected, and we are 990... <laughs> oh my gosh, I said 999. We are 99 cards away from getting the next level, and that's 40,000 MT. And I'm kind of thinking 
I, I'm not sure what, what I want to do with it or how I want to get to it eventually, but maybe I can buy like tons of things that are super cheap and that help me get the levels up. Um, so I'm not sure, but I have to figure that out as time goes on. Let's go right here, Game Awards. Michael Ray Richardson. I know that he wasn't a good three point shooter for his Sapphire card for the Nets. Um, so yeah, this one's not that good with the C minus. But let's see, inside scoring is A, mid range is a B minus, uh, three points C minus, uh, playmaking and perimeter defense are both A plus. That's nice. Post defense is a C plus. Rebounding is a B minus. Athleticism is A, and IQ is an A plus. Let's check him out. That's a pretty cool looking card. 89 offense, 96 defense. So he seems mainly uh, seems more like on the defensive side as a card. Um, let's see, standing layup 92, driving layup 86, uh, shot close 89. His mid range is only at 80. That's kind of weird. And an open shot three is only a 72. That's kind of eh. Ball controls 90, pass, uh, passing version is 94, uh, passing IQ is 92, passing accuracy is 95, so passing is really nice. Um, lateral quick quickness and pass perception are both 98. Uh, steals 98, wow, that's actually really nice. Um, defense consistency is a 90. Um, speed is a 90 with the speed with ball 93, that's nice. Um, acceleration is a 90 at the top, uh, stamina is 97, shot IQ is a 95, his hands are a uh, 98, uh, reaction times 93, and opposite consistency is only an 85, I thought it would be better, but that's okay, and um, let me just scroll up, let me see if he has any, uh, what badges he has, okay, he has one Hall of Fame badge, um, pickpocket, known for his ability to strip the ball from a ball handler, that's nice, and two golds, and that's Dimer and Pick and Roll Maestro. So that's kind of cool, we got a new Amethyst card, and I forgot what the uh, other players are. It's, I think, Jamal Mashburn is one of them, then there's like Elvin Hayes, Kiki Vandaway, Bernard King, Grant Hill, and someone else, I don't remember. Uh, I'll check that really quick. Um, but I don't know if I ever get those players, but that would be kind of cool. Um, yes, yeah, so we got Michael Ray Richardson, Jamal Mashburn, Elvin Hayes, Key Vandaway, Grant Hill, and Bernard. Oh, so those are just the. Oh, so the remaining players are for Jerry West with 2,000 cards and Will Chamberlain for 2,300 cards. And then the final card is Kobe uh, at 2,500 cards. I'm never going to be able to get Kobe. Uh, I like to see if I can get to any of these cards, though. That would be kind of tricky because I don't know I just don't want to waste tons of money on this game because you know I'll be getting 2k18 but I mean you never know so that'd be kind of interesting to see um, but like I haven't even like deleted like 2k16 because it's like I had such a great my team team so like it's I'm probably gonna do the same thing with 2k uh, uh, 17 like I don't really want to delete it at all because I love the team that I have so much and it would just be cool to play with that throughout the year rather than just starting over even though it is fun starting over but you know what I mean so <clears throat> uh, really quick I want to see if I've sold any thing yet because I am trying to sell some stuff I did sell my uh, uh, LeBron Sapphire that I got from my last pack opening if you guys want to check that out uh, it's on my channel uh, as long with some other pack openings I did previously where I actually pulled uh, two Demo DeRozan diamond cards which is really sick uh, those are in separate videos, of course, but, uh, yeah, that was insane how I pulled those guys. Um, so my lineup is the same as usual. I have Nate Oakswald, Sidney Moncrief, Pink Diamond Elks and Baylor, James Worthy, and Ben Wallace as my starting lineup. Then we have Paul Pierce, Sam Cassell, Willis Reed, George McGinnis, Lou Hudson, DeMar DeRozan, Jimmy Butler, and Zach Randolph as my bench and I love this lineup so much and I can't wait to keep improving it and what I've been kind of thinking is that I could like buy uh, some players now you know uh, that are, like are on the auction house but there's a lot of really cheap players for the Pacers and we even got the deadlift strength now so that's nice um, but like a lot of these like rubies are like only going for like 20,000 
a lot of them are like bid for higher but really you can just buy it for a lot cheaper and even this one's kind of nice too like only 12,000 so like but I don't know why some someone put it up for 100 it was just the public's just best around but yeah like I think this one I'll test would be nice but that would mean that I'd have like five diamonds of uh, small forwards well one of them is the pink diamond but you know I just consider them all diamonds um so yeah that'd be kind of tricky to figure out but then like players like I think this Lance Stevenson card was only going for like 2000 so that's why I think it'd be nice to get a new diamond this kind of way because I'm still earning cards whether than just buying one card um and for like a ton you know I can get some for like super cheap like these are going for a lot cheap if I can get one for like under like 1900 oh speaking of that it's 1900 uh I'll worry about it later but that'll be coming soon with another uh for uh the Pacers all-time collection uh historic collection so yeah uh man and this would be cool to do the Chris Paul, but all the players are super expensive in it. Actually, it's the gold players that them are the most expensive. So that's what kind of sucks. But uh, yeah, I guess they were harder to pull, so that's why they're a lot more expensive. So yeah. But um, I think I'm going to wrap this video up, you guys. Uh, here's one more look at me getting the um, Microwave Richardson card. I think this card would be cool. If you guys... Um, like have gotten this card um then let me know how you like him um because i'm not sure if i'm gonna like him or not i mean he seems pretty good and decent so you guys can just let me let me know your thoughts and opinions below so yeah but yeah i think that's gonna wrap this up you guys hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah thanks for watching you guys there'll be more coming soon and until next time later peeps Oh and yeah, be sure to follow me on Twitter at DrJ24Gaming to keep up with what I post. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep up more NBA 2K17, Call of Duty, as well as GTA 5. Later, peeps.